around the middle of October, I walked out of a bathroom and I felt a really strong, sharp pain in my lower back and the pain didn't stop and it was even getting worse and it got to the point to where I couldn't walk. So I got really, really, really scared. A doctor that I had seen close to where I live had said that I needed to have surgery. He didn't give me any other options. He didn't explain really clearly what the condition was that I had. So I decided to go online and look up other doctors, neurosurgeons. She gave us a call saying that she was in a lot of pain in her low back. My first advice to her was um, just to do some basic stretches and ice until she's able to drive herself over to the clinic. She was not able to stand upright. She was bent over because standing upright was causing a lot of pain. So once we got the MRI report, um, she was appropriate for the decompression treatment more than getting an epidural or surgery because it was uh, basically a three millimeter disc bulge at L4, L5, and L5S1. So she was the perfect candidate for the decompression program. Now, spinal decompression therapy is safe, it's effective, and it's really, really good for herniated discs. So essentially, what we're doing is we're setting her up right now, and this table will actually prop up the pelvis and it will isolate and lock down the specific level that we confirmed on MRI. Now with Aurora today, she's doing spinal decompression for her low back region. And she has a disc herniation at L4, L5 and at L5S1. So these are the two lowest levels here in the spine. But for example, this red material is what commonly is referred to as a disc herniation. And the problem is this is now a space occupying lesion that's compressing this nerve root, which is actually giving her pain down into her left leg. That's been going down all the way into your left foot. Is that correct? Okay. So with this machine, we're doing spinal specific decompression at the L405, L5S1 level. And what we're doing is we're opening and closing this space. Let's see if I can show you here. That space is opening and closing, and that's taking the pressure off the nerve, thus giving the patient relief. Approximate treatment time is about 27 minutes. It's safe, highly effective, and pain-free. She just finished her spinal decompression therapy, and now she's ready for her chiropractic manipulation. So I'm gonna demonstrate an adjustment here. And this table moves up and down. We're gonna stretch her out a little bit. How's that pressure today? You've been feeling pretty good, huh? She's been really consistent with care. She's been coming in approximately three to four days a week. And the treatment plan has been about 20 visits was my recommendation. She's, she's darn near halfway through. But like going to the gym, you need to go three, four days a week if you wanna build and maintain strength. So right now, she's building and uh, strength with our physical therapy department. And we're keeping her spine in nice alignment. And the decompression has really helped pull those discs apart and remove that pressure off the nerve. So she's doing real well. Good, so I'm gonna get you set up here. Toe behind your knee, and a little closer to the edge. Good, hold my hand. So we're getting her set up here. I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure on your low back. Ready, good. Nice, there's oh, it going. <laughs> go ahead and go to the other side. We want you walking out of here balanced. Good, comfy there. Toe behind your knee, a little closer. Hold my hand, good. All right, a little bit of pressure here. Toe right there, nice job. Good. Dr. Leach did his part, Dr. Sonia did her part. So I had to do my part. You know, show up to all of my appointments three times a week and do everything that they told me to do, whether I wanted to or not. In my mind, I'm thinking, I don't want to do this, you know. But I know that it's going to help me feel better. I'm doing better now, today, than I was doing even before I hurt my back in the first place. They're the best doctors anywhere.